Welcome back to Illusion of Gaia, and in the last part, Hamlet, poor, poor Hamlet sacrificed himself so he wouldn't get eaten by cannibals. How are you holding up, Kara? Yes, he is. So noble. Just... Now that's just insensitive. But, let me talk to this boy right here. Map. And this is where we're gonna have to go next. Oh. Dang. So, yeah, you can see how the stamina is really affecting a lot of people, but we have a curse to actually break. And let's go into the Anchor Wat. Because we need to find ourselves a Gorgon flower in order to cure those women that have been turned to stone. And it only took us three days to get there. And this is probably like my least favorite uh, area in the entire game. I know I probably said like, what was the last one? Well, this is honestly like my least favorite because just it just feels so bland. I don't know. Again, I don't know why I'm picking up these gems since they don't matter. And we, we got these flies here. This little I think they're called like zippers. Also, we have these guys, the Gorgon, as they like to call them. They're pretty much invincible. You can't damage them until you destroy the head. And the only way to destroy the head is when they're stretched out like that. It usually takes like two, three hits to actually do so. But if I just do a psycho dash, a psycho dash, excuse me, it usually take like one hit. Yeah, it's like three hits. Maybe two or three then. But I just feel like it's just much, much easier to just cycle dash on their heads. Be like, hey, boy, I'm gonna dash into your head and it's gonna hurt. Also, we have these little mimic bushes. You can tell that they're enemies if you just look at them because they're they're a little bit of a darker palette than the bushes that are around here. There we go, that's all the enemies in this area, and we get HP up. And now they're actually going inside the actual dungeon. And we get to meet my least favorite enemy in this game, the zombie heads. Well, off the bat, I'm going to say destroy them as quickly as possible, because if you don't, uh, they will actually split into two and become invincible, so you can't damage them, and it's just really annoying. You just have to, it's basically a waiting game. I, I don't like winning games, they're just, they're boring. <laughs> there you go guys, that's a red jewel, how many? Oh, I'm actually full. Let me just do this for a quick second, or two, or four, or eight, maybe. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about inventory space. Also, this area. This dungeon is also where we're gonna get Reden's uh, final dark power. I don't know why I struck there for a second. And during the whole Mount Crest area, I said that, you know, Aura Barrier is just completely pointless. And I have to take that back because the 
power we're gonna get for free then in this area is probably even wor more worthless. Also, we have another variant of these zombies is the purple ones who, every time you hit them, they're gonna speed up. But they're really not not an issue. They're not they're not the orange ones, I guess. So there's something. I'm actually playing really badly here. What I usually do for these purple ones is that I just do a spin attack because it does more damage. Basically, you just kill them really fast. They don't get the chance to actually speed up. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Also, these stone golem guys, what I usually do, is just do a simple slight attack because you're gonna get off two hits. What was that, like 18, I think? What it said? Just three hits. That's all, that's all there is. Down here, fall through a trap floor. Hear a bunch of noises and grunting. And find out we're walking on beetles. I think that's what they are supposed to be. Never be too sure with this game. And oh, there's two of them, so I'm not gonna be able to work fast enough. There you go. And yeah. So I might seem like a little bit intense in focusing, I just don't want them to split. Because they are the worst when they split. Be oh wow, I made quick work of that beetle, but that projectile is going to hit me. Yep. I don't think I can actually block that. But it's okay because there's HP up in this area, in this room. That guy's gonna split apart, hopefully not. Come on. Ah! Damn! So close. And now I have to wait. I just hope I don't die before getting that HP up, because I kind of need that right now. There we go. Something else there, so I can just go back to the entrance because we can't create a shortcut there. Oh wow, I didn't get hit that time. Usually, when I slide out there, it's just I keep getting hit. Oh wait, no, that's 13. What do I think of 18 for? So basically, basically, I get off like what 26, 26 damage off of that one slide, and he's almost dead. Wait, did the spin actually do more? Or was that 13 again? It's so hard to tell. No, that was 13. So I can either do the slide or I can just spin into them. It's actually really nice to know that. Uh, I believe that's an herb right there, so I should I actually take it. I'm gonna regret it later. What's my inventory is just so piled up with herbs. But you can never have enough herbs. Because herbs are the variety of life, I think. So now we're back at the say this is back at the entrance. He's gonna split apart. Oh nope. Not today. I 
Actually, I don't want to do that because I can just. And it's actually something that I discovered while actually test playing this is that if I hit him at just the right spot, and he's already fast enough, I won't take any damage when, I, when I'm standing in front of him. Because he's just going through his damage frames. So I can't get hit, but I have to time it just right. Like that. Here we go. After this is just the beetle, and we create a shortcut back to the. So we won't have to walk all the way back there. In fact, we can't actually walk out there because we fell through a trap floor. And now we should be out in the garden. Right there. I'm just gonna, just gonna do that. Also, I counter where um, some of these bushes just they don't move. They just tend to just stand there. I'm getting lucky with the uh, HP drops. Maybe it's just feeling bad for me because I'm just playing poorly. Anyway, there should be a dark space here. Why well, say should? I can just look at the map and just like, what is right there? Right now, I gotta make my way across so I can turn to Dreden. And now it's me just walking into an enemy. Even with glasses, I still cannot see. But, anyway. Let's go in, turn to Frieden, and then we can just spam Dark Flare any chance we get. Because that is actually very useful in this area for enemies that are just flying a bunch. Also, I can just take out the Gorgon heads in like two hits. I wish the charge time was a little bit faster. And I didn't hit him because he was off screen. If he's off screen, then he doesn't exist. There we go. One hit. And that's all it takes is just one hit. Right by there, too. This is gonna take a while. Art, oh, no, go on. There you go. Oh, I hate those enemies so much. Uh. <laughs> I hate this area because it's kind of like a maze. I can't, I can't walk around these bushes. It's just sad. So I gotta walk all the way around, up, up and down, and all around. Oh, I actually got him two hits that time. Roll. Oh, okay. I've got those two over there. Or four. Wow, I can count. I can count, guys. I swear I'm out of high school. <laughs> I'm out 
there's enough of them over there. I don't know why that happened there. And another Gorgon. And he will be gone soon. There we go. Four left. And I always miss one whenever I'm in this area. I see him right there, I think that's him, no. Actually, I think he's just literally just kind of camping right there. Again, I think I'm just blind. Yeah, he's right there, and... Oh, wait, no, now I know where you are. You're right here. The one that I always miss is right here. And I think that's HP. Fitting. The one that I always miss is the one that gets me HP. Now we're in the passage, which is that far away from here from when we're gonna get uh, Frieden's uh, final dark power. And Dark Flare just makes simple work of these guys. Love it. Just simple work. Of course, I timed it wrong. And there we go. Yeah, I don't think I can actually block that. That's weird. But, anyway, we're now gonna get Freedon's Dark Power, his final one. Quaker, his final power. And that's where we're going to end the episode, so I'll see you next time when we continue through Anchor Walk. So, until then.